Hello and a very warm welcome back to Bracken Fix. My name's Pete and on today's video we're going to be making a snake slash Tetris kit that I got off um, Amazon for about £10. And um, it's really exciting for lots of different ways. One, this circuit board looks like lots and lots of fun. It's got a little bit of everything. So we've got some surface mounted um, components here. Um, and we also got the usual push through ones as well. That looks like a socket of some description. So that's very exciting. Um, not only that, um, I've actually got a new rework station that I've treated myself to. So the soldering iron that I've been using um, in the last videos, um, actually I've had for years and years and years. Um, but I thought it was time to treat myself to a new one. So um, I got a rework station, which has got a new soldering iron, but also um, a hot, iron, um, hot air station as well. So that's really exciting. Um, in this video, I'm also going to be doing some soldering um, underneath the microscope. Um, this is because um, my friend and colleague Tom um, has asked me to do it. So, um, well, this is for you, I suppose, Tom. Let's get going. <laughs> Okay, so um, as before, um, it comes with instructions, ah, ha, ha. Um, however they are again all in Chinese um, and I still don't speak Chinese um, and also um, it's got a really helpful diagram here and I reckon if you understand electronics, which is where I'm trying to get to but I'm not yet, I think um, this will all make perfect sense but to me it all looks very pretty um, and that's it. All I know is that these are pinouts um, for the chip. So. I suppose that pin there goes to P34 and then you find P34 and that tells you something else exciting. Anyway, um, so yeah, what we'll do um, as before, we will um, um, just put that away there nice and safe. Right. So what else do we get? Um, we also get um, a USB power connector, which is um, really helpful. Um, I probably won't use it. I'll probably just plug into my bench power supply, but yeah, very handy. Um, it comes with a piece of foam, which has got the socket, which obviously goes onto here, um, and then the chip, which goes into the socket. Um, I actually learnt what those things are um, from another fantastic YouTube channel um, called Adrian's Digital Basement. Um, Adrian Black um, is just absolutely amazing. Um, he goes into incredible depth about um, chips on like Commodore 64s and Amigas and Apple Ones and it's just I don't understand a word of it but oh it's just so interesting um so yeah so thank you Adrian um for making me understand what these things are here um and on this side um we've probably just got the uh the, the I suppose the tiles or the, the the lights will come down when we're playing snake and things like that so uh right excellent that's good um it's also got um oh um a clock maybe a timer I think that's, that's what um, and lots of other little bits as well. Should we very gently? Because you have to be gentle with these components. Put them out here and then see what we've got. So um, I think these are just the tops of the switches. Um, going by what the picture looked like um, when I bought it. Um, so yeah, so we've got a number of switches. I should imagine those will be for here, look. So we've got um, up, down, left, right. Um, we've also got. Um, it that says remove seal after washing. Hmm. Um, is that a speaker? I wonder. Hmm. Um, and we've got some uh, capacitors here and some um, I think are they resistors. I'm gonna go with resistor. Um, there's the USB as well. Um, we've got a switch. Uh, that thing. Very good. Uh, one of these, I really need to learn what these are because I see them in every single kit and I don't know what they are. Um, feel free to put a comment in the uh, uh, down below if you really want to tell me what it is, please. That would be really, really helpful. Um, this one says 104 on it. I don't know if that means something, but this is Mr. 104. So we'll leave that there. Okay, so what I'll do is I will get set up underneath the uh, the microscope and let's see if we can get some... Um, so we can get some soldering done. This is really exciting. Um, I will be turning on my new station. Um, I didn't mention that it's actually variable um, uh, heat um, for both the soldering iron and the heat gun. Um, I don't really know what's setting to set it at. So I'm going to put it at 
364 degrees, I've decided. And um, please, please, please tell me if that's way too hot. Um, but um, yeah, I'm using lead-free solder, so let's uh, let's see how we get on. So I reckon you just need to basically start somewhere. So I'm going to start with um, the um, little lights that show, like I said, the snake or something. Um, this part here, basically. Oh wow, that's really zoomed in because it's quite a big part. But, um, so what we'll do is we will put that on the uh, on the board, um, and then I'll flip it over and we'll do some soldering. Um, right, one sec. Right, so I've installed that. Um, so let's see if we can do some soldering underneath the microscope. As I said, Tom, this is for you. Okay, so that's one row done. Not too bad. Let's uh, let's carry on. Try put some flux on, just because. Wow, who doesn't like seeing a bit of flux? Play. Going very well. Do you know one of the biggest difficulties I've found with um starting a new YouTube channel is not stealing other people's catchphrases accidentally. So I'm a huge fan of um of Vice Script Garage. Um I appreciate I'm a I'm British and I keep I just said garage, but that's just what he calls it. Um and um I think he's uh, I think Derek is absolutely amazing. Um, and one of his catchphrases is, I'll be dipped, which is, I can't believe it. And I say it all the time at home. And every time I do something on here, I keep wanting to say, I'll be dipped. However, that's stealing a catchphrase. So I won't be doing that. I'll have to come up with my own catchphrase. It'll probably be, oh, dear God, what have I done? Or, ouch, that really hurt. Okay, let's uh, let's solder a switch in, shall we? I got a flux pen, but I don't know how that would work. Um, the legs poking out. Maybe it's only for surface mount. Let's try some different solder. Right.
that one's not very good. Let's redo that one because that was not very good at all. There you go, that looks better. Shall I redo this one as well? Because you can see some of the pads. So let's, uh, let's redo that one as well. Oh, they look much better okay so that's one switch in then uh let's put the next four in i'll come back okay so all those are done all looking very good again it's all the soldering iron nothing to do with me brilliant okay so next let's do let's put some switches in shall we so i will just them through that's the other switch all attached then so next i think i'll go for the socket so um oh actually okay so the problem with that is that actually there's two uh, components that actually are going to go inside of the socket um so if we have a look We've got a, no, I remember this, 10 microfarad uh, capacitor. And I don't know what that is. Oh, 104. Ah, now my orange uh, component uh, had 104 written on it. So I think that goes in there. So let's put that component in there, hoping that it doesn't have a plus and a minus side because i don't know what that is hmm. and then the 110 microfarad capacitor which i've got here now there is a long leg and a short leg and the long leg is plus or positive i'm pretty sure the issue is that um I don't know what is plus and minus on there. So, um, right, to Google, hold that thought. So I'm pretty sure that what I read was basically that the filled side, uh, so this side here, um, is the negative. So I'm going to put the long leg through that one and then the sh short negative leg through that one. So let's do that. I wonder if it needs to be sort of bent away so the chip can actually get to it. So maybe I'll leave the legs a little bit longer so it can be bent over. Right. Do these. Too bad. Spin this round actually because I can't get too good with the legs. Okay. So if it's mounted to snip those off. Okay. That's uh yeah, not looking too bad. But what I've done is I've bent them um so they are now underneath the line of the sockets basically. Which I've just installed but not soldered. So what I think I'll do now is I'll come away from the uh, microscope and we'll go back to the top down so you can actually see the parts that I'm actually doing. So as you can see, I've bent these down now. So hopefully they're going to be underneath the level of the chip. Um, I've installed the 
um, as you've just <laughs> can see um, I've installed the socket but it's definitely not soldered in so here's my concern though I need to solder all those pins which is fine but they're gonna it's gonna fall out isn't it as soon as I flip it over am I gonna have to sort of half hold it while I sort of tack in some I think I'll probably do that this could be interesting but I'm going to show you what I'm doing just so you, you can laugh if nothing else so can I just I know you can get holders and everything by the way and they'll all come in my new studio but at the moment this is uh, what I'm having to work with unfortunately so let's see if we can just do this and tack it on and hopefully not burn myself Annoyingly. Annoyingly. Oh, what? Oh, ah, right, well. That one's tacked on. And it is down. Okay, so if I just do the one in this corner as well. Again, I'm sorry for the really sort of ridiculous way I'm doing this. There we go. Okay, so now ah, you see, but ah, mm -mm. interesting. That doesn't seem to do anything, which is interesting. Oh, okay. So now you can see what I've done. So I soldered that. However, the actual um socket was raised, so I pushed the socket down, and now it's pushed that out, which is. Very infuriating. So what I'm going to have to do is heat this solder up. Oh, push down that at the same time and try not to burn myself horrifically. Ow, if it, ow, <laughs> I failed. <laughs> ow. <laughs> right. Um, I might come back to that one in a bit, uh, but now it is actually down. So I can now solder all of these along. So I'll quickly do that. Um, and speed up for you. That's all of them done. Um, we've still got the problem with that one still, as you can see, sticking up. I'm not sure how much of a problem that's going to be. Um, so I've got the chip here. So uh, it goes that way. Okay, I think it's going to be all right. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it out for now just because um, I'm just a bit worried I'll damage it. So just here it does say speaker, so uh, and it's got plus and negative. Um, so I've got the speaker here. Um, my only slight concern is that I can't see anywhere that it's got a plus and a minus on it. Ah, okay. So the legs are ever so slightly different lengths, and I'm going to go that the larger one is um, positive again. So let's pop that in as well then. And I'm just going to make my life a bit easier by. Just bending these legs so that it stays in place. Quickly throw some uh, solder on those. Making sure to heat up the thing you're soldering as well as just the solder. He says as he completely. Ah. Remember, warts and all. Ah, hmm, hang on. <laughs> right, there you go. Right, there we go. Okay. So that's the speaker attached. Excellent. I say that, it's not a particularly fantastic job because I've. It's slightly. Uh, Ever so slightly crooked, but uh, okay. Um, on to something else. So, 
Ah, I was thinking what goes here? Of course, it'll be this. So, uh, that obviously just slots in there. I'm hoping that there's, it doesn't, doesn't have to go a specific way. Oh, that's got... Oh. Oh. That's interesting. So, there's more sort of holes than there is pins. So there's two, four, six that side, two, four, oh, five. Okay, so two, four, six, two, four, six. Well, <laughs> uh, but I think it does tell you because you've got the, uh, you can see that it's got the, the dots. So it's definitely this way it needs to go. So six at the top, five at the bottom. It's going to take some fiddling to get this in. Um, slightly move the pins there, so they, they slot into the holes perfectly. Oh, okay, so when you do this, be careful, because you can stab your finger. Ow. Right. Okay, so, uh, again, I'm just going to bend some of these pins just to sort of lock it in place. Not necessarily all of them, but just, just some of them. Okay, let's uh, solder those in. Soldered and snipped. So, what's next? Um, okay, I think we need to put this bad boy in. Um, I don't know what it is. This is really embarrassing. Um, so, um, luckily it tells me that the flat part is here. That needs to go to the top, so we will just simply poke that through there. Just a baby. Okay. I don't have, never know how much to push these in actually. Um, I'm going to go with um, uh, that much. So if I hold that. Bend those back. A bit more soldering. That's that one in. Um, so we have a 1K resistor here, and I have a resistor here, which must be 1K. So I just find it's quite difficult to bend so they're the right sort of shape. But we'll... Well, he says he does it basically perfectly. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. Oh dear, right. Draw these in. And sniff them off. Okay. Right. We're not really there, are we? 
can't think. I appreciate, obviously, I haven't put the USB in yet, but... I don't really want to. Um, but... Maybe I just should do it. Stop being silly. So... We've got four pins at the back. Well, that's fiddly. Okay. That looks flush and it's nice and tight. So, let's do that. Never done these before. What am I supposed to do with those? Make sure they're attached to the side. Is that it? I think it might seem like that. Okay. I think we're nearly there. So, just a case of putting the chip in and putting all these on. So let's do that next. So we've got a little. So we've got a little cutout here and here. So that must mean it goes that way. Absolutely nowhere near as easy as I was hoping. It's a bent leg there. Okay, so <laughs> right, good start. So the legs actually are wider than the than that. So we need to bend these in ever so slightly. So I'm going to put them on a flat surface, and then just. Gently bend them all. I'm not entirely sure that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So, one, that's the wrong way around. But two, is there another bent leg here? Another bent leg. Let's, uh, that back. Obviously, you probably haven't found the right tools, but there we go. Okay, let's try this again. So that goes that way. That slots in there. Oh. Okay, well, it does seem to have slotted in. these on now. Now, before I do that, I'm wondering, because one bit I didn't show you was, it actually comes with a little box for it to go in. So, let's have a look. I'll leave it there for a second. Okay, so you can see that that kind of fits that very, very well. Ah, okay, so it is clear. It's just it's got this thing on it, so that makes sense. So. Oh, look at that. How does that go together? There was also, hang on. Ah. Some screws and standoffs and things. Where's 
it's obviously the bottom part but we've got screws there that don't marry up to anything Ah, okay, so that must obviously be the part for that look. So in which case we know that that bit must go in there like that. Then see, I don't think that bit can go that way. It must go that way. And like that. Oh, look at that. Okay. That kind of goes together. So I'm going to pull all this shielding off, put these in, and try and work out where all the standoffs go. You put these on. Let's do that now. Oh. Says as he breaks them. Cool, blimey. Okay. That makes sense. Does that one go on there? Would make sense, wouldn't it? And I think it goes. Okay, these are well, too short. Oh, actually, so it's too short. Hmm. Yeah, you must do surely. Why not? I am wondering now if you should be taking these off, but never mind. Oh dear. Not so sure. But, uh, there we go. Okay. And then I think that goes on there like that. And what you do. Or, or, actually, I think it goes screw, standoff, and then that. Yes, I think that is correct. So I'm going to assume that's correct.
Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I left that on. Oh, that's just upsetting. Right. I have a power bank. Let's see what happens. Ah, <laughs> typical USB. Are we all ready? Let's see. <gasps> That's very bright. Should turn the lights off. It's even worse. This is supposed to do. <laughs> it's like you can say that nothing's happening. So what does that mean? Let's try that again. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've created a box with some nice lights in it um, and a clock up here that doesn't really work. And when I press that, it makes a noise. I mean, that's that's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, right. Okay, back to the drawing board. What have I done? Right. Day two, um, and I've taken this apart so I can see quite what I've done. If I'm honest with you, I don't really know. Um, I have seen though that there are some um, of these solder joints aren't that fantastic, if I'm honest with you. Um, so I'm tempted to almost reflow. Now, you remember in one of my other videos, I mentioned about me reflowing and it being an absolute joke, but I'm hoping that actually that's what I need to do. So Let's get the um, soldering iron nice and warm and um, yeah, try and reflow slash redo some of these, which I can see aren't fantastic um, because I'm pretty sure I put everything in the right place and in the right orientation. So it should work, but well, obviously it's not. So uh, right, hold that thought. See what those are doing, it's just sort of flickering and flashing. Now it's still just getting eh, eh, eh. right. Let me just check um, Google or something just quickly. I think I'm going to have to admit defeat on this one. Um, I honestly don't know what's wrong. I've just been doing some Googling and it looks like I've done everything right. However, I think it's fairly evident that I haven't. I mean, there is a small chance that one of the components is faulty. Not likely. Um, the chip is faulty. Again, let's be honest, not likely. Um, so I think... 
I have made a mistake somewhere. So why don't we leave the video here and then what we'll do is we'll do a revisited video, which sounds really exciting, but is basically going to be me fixing something really simple and then plugging it in and it all working. Um, but until then, I will keep researching. I will try and work out what I've done wrong and we'll come back to it. Look, if you want to see the next video and you don't want to miss it for some inexplicable reason, please feel free to give me a subscribe. But um, otherwise, I'll see you again. Thank you so much. Bye bye.